So let's go ahead and introduce one of the founders of the Don't Mute DC movement, Ron Moten. Also, Councilman White has agreed to stick around and talk with us about this. Ron, did, did, were you watching the show live? Did you know this was coming? Just yeah, talk to me about yes, last I night. I knew a lot that I couldn't talk about because they had a, a gag order on EU, but because I made some of the shirts for some of the uh, talent, uh, I knew what was going to happen. So as somebody who was, you know, talking with your friends or, or sitting in your place and, and, and you come up with the, the Don't Mute DC movement after the, the controversy that ensued, I mean, it's now national. It's now global. Yes. And you're responsible for that. Yes, me along with a young lady from Howard University, Natalie Hawkinson, Tony P, Tony Lewis, Rustin. A lot of people came together to do something positive for the right reasons, and we're getting the right results. So we're trying to institutionalize change that will not only take place in D.C. and areas like Anacostia, where gentrification is happening, but throughout the country, because everybody's going through the same thing in every major city in Washington, D.C. Yeah, Councilman, yeah. a huge moment for the district. Huge, yeah. I was in South Carolina visiting my in-laws. My wife calls me. She says, it's on TV. Turn on the BET Music Awards. I turn on. I see Sugar Bear, EU, Rare Essence. Uh, just it was a beautiful thing to see to really see DC profiled in that way our music uh, really profiled on the national global stage yeah. it was incredible and, and it, it speaks to two things obviously it speaks to the power of DC the power of go go music itself but then also the message behind the don't mute DC movement so you know for folks last night who just saw this for the first time they saw don't mute DC on the screen what do you want them to know Understand that this is a movement. We're addressing gentrification. We're addressing, ad addressing education. We're addressing issues that are about equity, about making sure every citizen in the District of Columbia and beyond have a fair shot, right? And we're doing it with the people. We're having weekly meetings where the people are organizing, mobilizing, dealing with policy, and addressing the issues collectively, working together. And we're also about bringing our city together. We don't want this to be used as something that's dividing our city. We want this to be used as something that, that brings our city together. We're working on a museum, a go-go museum, where we can teach people about our music and our yeah. culture and preserve it. I feel like watching all of this unfold from the sidelines, I, I feel like go-go is going through a, a, a renaissance. It's always yes. been here. It's always been strong in the district, but now yeah. it's found this vast new audience, and, and this is yeah. just one example of, of it uh, taking over the country. That's right, and this has been a dream of uh, so many of us who grew up listening to Go-Go's. You go to a Go-Go and they always say, be on your best behavior, because <laughs> they're music executives here, and we're, we're, we're gonna <laughs> blow up. And we, I think deep down we always knew that it would and should, but to see it happen this way, from trying to quiet Go-Go music on one street corner in D.C., now it's blasting around the world. You couldn't ask for anything better for D.C. and our culture. And Ron, one last thing for you, the, 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 the Don't Mute D.C. movement, does it now morph in, into something else? Does it become a, a rallying cry for, for other people in similar situations yes. who are finding themselves? Yes, it is. And my thing is we're making sure people are involved. Like, you can't just speak for people. You have to make sure they're able to use their voice. And that's what we're doing. We're also doing some things like the Go-Go Awards. Uh, September is going to be Go-Go Music Month. We got a lot of things coming up yeah. where people are going to be engaged to action and also observing and honoring and respecting our culture. Well, we know D.C. will be there. We appreciate both of you sticking around to talk about this. Ron Thanks Moten, Don't Mute D.C. and Councilman Robert White. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank Thanks. you.